Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level seven story. Glad to see you. And yes, it is the portal level. As Chell pops out on the screen, perfect timing, perfect timing. We do get a level trophy achievement called Glad to be out of there. And we do pick up a gold brick for this as well. Now it is also key to note that there is a trophy achievement for this level for beating it in under 25 minutes. So we actually have another video for that. This is gonna be focusing on the story. And with that being said, doesn't look like a bakery. We just got back from the past. Maybe this is a futuristic space bakery? Is that you? Huh? How did you escape from your... No, you're not her. You're just another unwelcome visitor. Oh, uh, good lady! Are you the proprietor of this establishment? We wish to buy a cake! Cake? Why do they always want the cake? So you actually have a cake? We can pay! Yes. Yes, you will pay. But first, a test. Haha, -ha, it's no secret that I am a huge Portal but fan. I love the puzzle type games like this, it. and uh, well, kind of why I like the Lego games so much as well. Lots of little puzzles, fun to solve and to get through, and you gotta kind of get that feeling of accomplishment, so. Right off the bat, let's switch on over to Wild Style and use her relic scanner to reveal the old jump pad there, and then hop on a vehicle of choice. We use the Batmobile to car ramrod through the portal, and it actually reveals a keystone terminal. Oh, this one happens to be a, what do we call that one? Oh yeah, that's right. That would be the shift keystone. So go ahead and use your character of choice to shift on through to the pink portal and flip that switch by pressing the icon indicated. Then you're gonna wanna toggle over to old Gandalf and move him through the yellow portal, which will then drop him onto this pad, giving him access to this switch. Once you flip that switch, a cube will drop down and you're gonna use his magic to go ahead and lift it up and drop it on that pad. Now, like I said, there is a trophy achievement for getting this in under 25 minutes, so pay attention to these puzzles and try to remember things specifically like where the locate puzzles in and such but uh, all right you can see there's a timer up there we got one minute and 20 seconds you're gonna have to do better than that to beat the uh, the 25 minute threshold but uh, once we get into the new room keep in mind this is the first run you, you'll improve as you go through and you might take a couple times but uh, this is all about the story and speaking of which use wild style to build up the pieces that you smashed in the corner there as well as reveal the old batarang terminal switch to Batman and use your grapple hook to pull the left side and the batarang to open the right side once the left side is open, it actually reveals a button. So go ahead and slip on through there and go ahead and press that button. And uh, the other side opened up and gave us a chroma pad. So now actually we have two chroma pads now that we flipped the switch. The third one's gonna be found by building up these pieces from these other boxes we smashed and then using the old car ramrod to go ahead and pump that treadmill all the way to explosion. And look at that, it lifted up the third and final chroma pad. So. This one's a little bit trickier, as you can see here. We actually have a green one on there, so we have to mix colors again. And if you remember that old commercial, yellow and blue make green, that's how I always remember it. I mean, it's real easy to, to remember anyways, but. Um, all right, so on the old toy pad here, we've got Batman on the left side, so we're gonna go ahead and put him in the blue. We're gonna use Wild Style into the yellow, cause she was on the right. Then we'll take Batman and actually join her on the right side of the toy pad to make that yellow and blue turn blue. And then Gandalf Making scientific Gandalf discoveries the red, together. And we Please use the arrow of faith plate provided to proceed. And look at that, it actually but opens up a it little has a uh, launch pad that you may here, exceed which will us all the way across. But first, we gotta uh, open up the old elemental keystone so that we can get through that fire patch up top because we're gonna need some sort of uh, access to get through that. So we'll go ahead and do that now and whew, up and over we go. And once we're over there, we have to switch to electricity. So yeah, I made a big mistake there and, and didn't quite pull that off. So, all right, let's try this again. Oh, I gotta start off, nope, not electricity. Nope, not in the Batmobile. All right, fire, fire, fire. All right, we got fire, let's go ahead and over there. There. All right, now switch on over to the electricity, which is on the right side of the pad. See, up until we learned the Earth stuff, the electricity was on the right. We'll go ahead and bounce over both of those pads, which gets us over to this final side over here. And we see we got a puzzle. We've got some little laser walkways that we open up, and there's a ball, and there's these little powers. 
So here's what we how we do this. Because you have an electricity charge around you, electric charge, it'll actually power up the one you're standing next to. So we go ahead and stand next to the right one and shoot the left one to begin with. Then we move over to the left and, uh, well, you saw. You saw. And basically what you need to do is get the ball all the way to the bottom, then activating the power core, opening the door, and we're going to go ahead and slip on through. That's right, that's right. Upsie daisy. All right, this next room is a little bit of fun. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's actually pretty cool. We get to use the locate puzzle, which I didn't mind too much this time because it's an easy one to find. You're going to need Batman. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm running around going, well, what do I do here? But uh, you're going to need Batman to go ahead and grapple the old hook down, which actually reveals a nice little terminal for the keystone. This one's going to be the locate, as I just said, and we're going to go ahead and run up, and it's right behind where the Batmobile spawned there, and, or I guess we're left it, I don't know, whatever. Wherever it is, it seems to always be sitting right next to it in this particular puzzle, so once you do, you pull through a tree, and the talking tree takes care of some business for us. That's right. Take that. Pow. Take that. Pow. All right. So we got him down, we got a clear path, and now we can see up top we actually have another puzzle here. We have to use the scale ability. So we're going to double back to this terminal here because we remembered that it actually had the scale ability available. So we'll go ahead and activate that, and then we're going to switch Gandalf over to Mini-Me. But little word to the wise, make sure that you get all the way to the actual small door before you make him go. Because look how slow I'm going. I may have actually gotten the trophy achievement oh, for completing no. this in Where 25 minutes gone? had I not I have wasted time anyway. right there. Actually, I'm going really slow. Wait till you see the speed run. I've already completed you know, it, and it's a lot faster than this. All right, little guy goes all the way up to the top, and you can see he's, he can't quite fit there. You have to get right on the green pad. I swung out and missed that one, and all right. This time we got it. We weigh it down, and it knocks those other robots off. The, the turrets go bye-bye. Now we got big Gandalf stuck in the room there. We'll go ahead and switch to another character and make it down the walkway, which then reveals, uh-oh, the deadly mega turret. Listen how she says it. It's turret. Anyways, uh, we're going to use Gandalf and his magic to go ahead and move that turret around. I was having trouble selecting him. I know a lot of you guys use the old toggle buttons, uh, uh, L1, R1, or left bumper, right bumper, whichever whichever platform you're on. I never have good luck with that. I know there's only three characters in this particular setup, but I always end up getting the wrong guy. So I'm sure it's just user error, but uh, triangle and then using the stick, pointing it towards the character you want usually works, not always. All right, this can be kind of tricky. You have to use Gandalf's magic to break the glass on both sides here, which then reveal two switches. But both switches need to be pressed within a certain amount of time. And for me, my characters were not cooperating here. Look, I just barely missed it. So you have like a five or a seven second threshold, and they both need to be pressed. And I eventually get it here. Here we go. And uh, again, try to figure out a smooth way to get that going. And keep in mind, too, that the scale puzzle is still open right now. And if you get the wrong character on there, you may have a big character or a small character. It gets really confusing so just uh try to keep gandalf the only big character and you should be all right all right once that's complete you make it into the next room and we're gonna go ahead and trigger the locate keystone and nope it's not on the right hand side it's over on the left it's actually close to the doorway well not really close to the door kind of right there right in front of it all right here we go go ahead and spam that button until we rip that rift open in this one uh oh Choo choo! That's right, look, it's Doc in the old time traveling choo choo! Thanks, Doc. That helped us out quite awesomely. And now we find ourselves with a new puzzle. We have a, a burning fireball going back and forth, and we have an electric side and a fire side with switches on them. We're going to go ahead and use the electricity ability to go ahead and get us onto this pad, and we're going to flip that switch, which actually moves the little pad in the middle there and actually starts bouncing this fireball up in the air. Speaking of fire, quickly switch to fire. And see, I swung and I missed right there. Oh. Word to the wise, don't switch to electricity while you're still on fire <laughs> because it's hot, hot, hot. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so if you make a mistake like me, you're going to have to switch back to electricity and flip the switch back. Now the key is basically right as it hits the pad, hit the button, and it'll switch on over, completing this puzzle and opening the next part of it. So, beep, boop, 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 boop. all right, we have some, uh, some more of those pads that we need to move around and another fireball that we have to get 
from the left side to the right side. So we will go ahead and switch the keystone over to the shift one. And we'll shift on to the blue one, which actually switches the pads and gives us the ability to move those bottom ones. And uh, now we're going to need to switch on over to the left side, but you got timing is crucial here. And keep in mind, there is a little bit of a delay from when you move the character on the toy pad to when it actually responds, as you can see there. So, uh, yeah, take this <laughs> advantage and uh, laugh at me while you can, but... <laughs> Yep, see, look at that. Third time's a charm, maybe? You know how it is, the rule of Lego. Third time's a charm. Basically, as soon as it's getting ready to hit the pad and go up on the right side, switch your character right now. All right, and there we go. We should be good this time. Oh, to the, yeah. Now, this one's a little bit easier on the left-hand side. As long as it's heading downward, you should be okay. I guess I, I, guess I got lucky there. It was going up, huh? All right, nonetheless, when you finish that puzzle and finally get that fireball over, the door will open and we can now. exit it. Subject name here. Yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, excellent Subject dialogue from GLaDOS here. I know I'm talking over some of it, uh, but uh, assuming that you guys are playing the game with us, you'll get to hear it all firsthand when you experience it. So. All right, another keystone terminal. The first one's actually going to give us a couple abilities. We can see that there's a small door on the left, so we'll go ahead and choose the scale one. And choose, uh, well, we chose Wild Style to go ahead and get Smalley. And now we're going to climb that ladder. Jump to climb actually works pretty good as long as you know how to do it. And uh, then once you get all the way on that green pad, make her go big style. Oh no, it's Attack of the 50 Foot Wild Style. It's a classic movie. Not Wild Style. Attack of the 50 Foot Woman, though. All right, uh, on the far right side of the area, you might have noticed there's a couple of boxes that can be broken down and smashed into little bits. Build those bits up into a vehicle treadmill and hop in the old Batmobile and get your car ramrod on and fill that meter up by pushing to the right. Vroom, 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 vroom. All right, we got it all open. The cube came out, and we'll go ahead and use our magic ability with Gandalf to move the cube and put it on top of this little... Well, you can see it had a little... Uh, invisible kind of pad there to uh, indicate where it was going. The key here though, you want to spin it all the way around until it's aimed at that stacked couple of boxes in the back left corner there. And the reason being is, is we're going to use the locate keystone to go ahead and open up a rift. It, it's actually over in the middle just to the right of those boxes. Come on Batman, nope. Wrong way, you're getting cold. Warmer, warmer. Warmer, warmer, ooh, hot, hot, oh, colder, cold, cool, oh, cold, frozen, oh, frozen, you're like Olaf right now, oh, oh, come on, oh, warmer, warmer, ooh, getting, getting warmer, ooh, warm, medium, mild, mild, oh, cold, cold, ooh, ooh. no, nope. all right, well, let's see here, um, well, warmer, warmer, hot, 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 oh, there it is, there it is, all right, go ahead and spam that button until we get it all the way filling, go, oh! we get a little visit from you know who. Ironically, the Simpsons movie was on TV in the background while I was editing this level, and I thought it was pretty funny because there is a scene directly taken out of that movie, and that was it right there. It's stuck between a rock and a hard place. You remember that? Anyways, I thought that was really cool. Timing on it was great. And uh, once he smashes those boxes down, it actually gives us another cube, and uh, we can reflect the ray around, and this time we're going to aim it right back at that back box, and uh, we're going to go ahead and activate. Whoops, wrong puzzle. Wrong puzzle. And we're going to go ahead and activate. Oh, I guess it's not the wrong puzzle. We're getting our guys straight. That's right. All right. I was thinking we had to spin the win. One thing I forgot to mention is when you spin that last laser round, it actually takes out the turret, preventing you from getting to the red chroma pad. So we've got our characters all in line. We uh, just easily walk over one on each and booyaka shao. It opens up the final laser uh, spinny round thingy majiggy. And uh, basically you just want to complete the circuit here. And look at that. We've got the door open. It took out the last two turrets. We're going to go ahead and make our way through. But wait, GLaDOS tells us there's a problem. And I'm going to go ahead and shut up now because there's a nice little cutscene from a nice surprise cast member. A repair associate will be dispatched eventually. Until then, sit back and wait. Give up if you'd like. I won't judge you. Hey, over here. I've got absolutely no time to go into any more detail than is necessary, but remove these screws and I'll do the rest. It's Wheatley! I love Stephen Murphy. Hello. Uh, listen, I would have helped earlier, but she thinks I'm, I'm watching the test subjects. Um, now, the thing is, <laughs> I, I may have made a slightly smallish huge mistake with that. Uh, don't panic, but what, what's going to happen is, if she finds out, she'll, she'll probably want to use you for testing forever and probably switch me off. And so my suggestion is, <laughs> let's not let that happen and, uh, and work together to avoid the, 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 the inevitable um, terrible outcome. Anyway, stand back. I'm going to attempt to hack this panel. Ah! Oh! 
I must have forgotten to to carry the zero. And um, let me try again. Let me try again. I don't suppose you know what? What's pi? Is it three something? Oh! Ha! Yes! Take that panel in your slots. Consider yourself hacked by the best at hacking. All right, this way. Okay, follow me and I can get you out of here. Now listen, she thinks she knows this facility really well, but little does she know there's a tunnel up here that leads you straight up. She does know about it. She does, she's blocked it up. She's clever. Hmm. Yes, thing is, uh, pipe being open was a large part of, of my escape plan. Have you, have you got a plan B? So for any of you who have played Portal 2, uh, Wheatley's actually a guy who comes through and kind of helps save you. Um, he's voiced by Steve Emergent, who's one of my really favorite guys uh, that does voiceovers for games and such. I, I, I actually love all of his work. He's a really, really funny, awkward-looking guy, and I love him. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and use, you saw that we used Wild Style to detect the grapple point. We used Batman to pull it down, then we used Gandalf's magic, and then we, he we, we went old Mario Brothers and went down the pipe. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, so now that we're down in the next room here, we actually have a keystone terminal that has five keystones. We have all of them available. We're going to start with locate and actually head straight to the right from the terminal, and it actually reveals another spot, and we're going to open up that rift and check this one out. It's a Dalek, and it uh, takes him out for us, and GLaDOS actually appreciates it. What's that? It was all exterminated, and there was fire and explosions. I love it. But uh, go ahead and use Gandalf's magic to go ahead and reveal the chrome pad in the back and toss it on over to the left and then make your way back to the keystone terminal and turn it on yet again this time we're going to use the elemental one and uh, we're going to switch to water first to put out the fire but keep in mind you only need to put out a little bit of this fire you don't need to put it all out especially if you're doing the speed run make sure that you just uh, put a little spot out just so you can access the greenery switch on over to the earth element and uh, go ahead and fire it up and look at that it rips open the cage giving us the blue chroma pad now we got to free the yellow one which is actually going to be used or found by using the scale element or keystone as i got all my words mixed up there. there's a lot going on though but uh, we'll go ahead and jump on down and through and over and then we got to switch her back to normal size size so put her in the middle there It'll activate and drop the yellow pad. Now we just got to go and switch on over to Chroma. Oh, wait. Nope, I lied. We got to switch on over to Shift first. That's right. And this one's a little tricky, too, because you can see up top there is a moving Shift portal. So we're going to wait till it's just short of the middle area there, like you saw us do. Drop on down and flip the switch. As soon as you flip that switch, you can actually move a character. We happen to move Wild Style over to get out of the way of our toy pad. And uh, now she's over in the pink area, and there's a switch that you can flip. We're going to go ahead and press that. Oh, to the yeah, you can see the light, light changes from green to orange, indicating that it's active. And now, last but not least, we have to solve a chroma puzzle. So go back to the terminal and switch it on over to the chroma. And Booyakashow, you can see the puzzle solution is right there. You need red on top, uh, purple on the left, and orange on the right. So my best advice is to try to get all three of the characters out in the open. And uh, one of these days, I think I get her back out there. I was having troubles getting the characters out. You should be able to use the blue portal, but the problem is I've turned it off. So that's why I was having problems. I have the chroma uh, keystone turned on, not the shift one. So at this point, I've got two characters. My best advice is to get one character on each spot and uh, and then have the top character in red move from the left to the right pad as well once you have all the colors set, and that should give you the right keys or color mixtures. Uh, I eventually get it here. All right, I need it. Yellow and red on the right. Yellow and red on the right. All right, there we go. Uh, and boom, you can shout. Once you get it solved, it actually flips a door open, giving you access to another button. Go on in and press it, and it'll be the third and final switch needed to open the door and get on out of here. All right, so look at that. We've completed this round of testing. That means we're almost done. Except for, uh-oh, she's pissed. We gotta go deal with a Welcome. very unhappy GLaDOS. And uh, look at that, she's kind of mocking us. You see the sarcasm? Insert party noises here. Yeah, I'm sure this is uh, certainly time for celebration. Celebrate good. No, actually, not time to celebrate. We gotta wait, we gotta wait. 
All right, uh, not a whole lot going on here. There is a couple of moments here. It looks like I forgot to put the keypad or the toy pad moment there, but you just have to move your character from one side to the other. Uh, there are three of these in this segment, and after each time that she lifts you up and freezes you and you have to move your character, uh, you do have to run out of the way or you get squished. Really nothing happens. Ironically, if you do get squished, she still says the same thing at the end. So third and final key, uh, toy pad removal here, and I finally get one of them here. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Boom. Now watch this. Watch, watch what she says. You have successfully yeah. Avoided being Congratulations. You have successfully have avoided being squashed. Uh, yep. Yeah. What if I did get squashed? Oh, and then she taunts us with a bunch of studs. Hey, we'll take them. That's right. Got to have them all. All right, Keystone Terminal was then granted to us, giving us, oh, look at that. It's the shift element, and uh, or shift keystone. We'll go ahead and switch on over to wild style, because we're going to need to go over to the blue portal first and do uh, use her relic scanner to detect a grapple point. So we'll go ahead and get over there, and look at that. There she blows. And uh, we'll go ahead and switch Batman on over to the blue one as well. And, oh, look at that. Man, I'm getting too old for this shift. Ha, ha, ha. Little wordplay from the Lego devs. That's pretty awesome. But uh, that's for completing 50 shifts. And uh, nothing too special. You'll get it over time if you have not already gotten it. And uh, once you pull the hook with Batman, it actually uh, changes some things around. And we need to move to the pink portal next in the middle or bottom area. Using wild style again, scan with that relic scanner, and it'll reveal a turn pad here that we can push around. And that's right, once you spin to win a couple times, it actually, oh, it brings down the hammer. That's right. And Buyukashao, we actually have access to the final area now. So go ahead and use wild style to go ahead and go over to the yellow portal. And once she's over there, do the relic scan one more time, revealing a little spot for Gandalf to spin around. So we switch Gandalf over to the yellow, maybe in a minute here. One of these days. See, it's it's tough because there's only one spot on the yellow spot. Look at me, I'm like, which way did he go? Which way did he go? Finally, I get it, and Gandalf's over on the far right. I take control, and I go ahead and use his magic to spin that wheel around. And it finally, Booyakashao's the final one, and watch this. Everything changes, GLaDOS comes in, and she thinks she's won. Watch. She's pretty awesome. If you insist on breaking my test, then I am just going to have to remove them. Yep. Leaving you now we're just trapped. Oh, except for wait! She's given us a keystone terminal, and it just happens to have a locate keystone available. I can't seem to activate it because my fingers are noobing it up right now, but I finally get to it. You'll know when it's active because the screen will turn green, and you're going to head kind of towards the back right. I would say roughly 2 o'clock if you're thinking clock time there. It's about 2 o'clock off to the side on the right. And uh, once you find it, it opens up a rift, and Dave, Dave, or not Dave, Hal shows up talking about Dave. And um, it's totally a distraction. It also gives us the solution for the chroma puzzle here. And you can see we need uh, orange on the left, purple on the right. So I suggest choosing one character to be yellow, make him yellow, and then uh, move him around to both the other two sides, left and right, as long as you have one character. You can see what we got going on the toy pad there. I think it's maybe easier said than done. I don't know. Look at me. I'm playing musical minifigs over here. Again, which way did he go? Which way did he go? I had it backwards here. All right, so I need a blue and I need a blue and a red on the right. I got red now, and I just need to move blue over there. Somebody get blue. We need a blue stat on the right. You guys know that, right? Red and blue make purple, yellow and blue make green. Oh, look at that, I'm, I'm into the build menu here. I'm getting all button happy, pressing all sorts of stuff. Really what happened is I took Gandalf off, off the pad on accident in a, in a frantic flurry of changing people around. And, uh, and look at that, now I don't even have access to it. Come on, turn it off, turn it on. One of these days we'll get this puzzle solved, but basically, take your hand off, go to the yellow. I don't know what I'm doing. What's going on? Now's a good time to laugh. Totally messed this up. I probably would have had the 25 minute trophy achievement, however, nope, not gonna do it now. Oh, he solved it finally! I was starting to wonder if that was ever gonna get finished. All right, uh, we finally get a couple of bricks to build up. We find ourselves a toy, or not a toy pad, a car ramp. And uh, go ahead and hop in the Batmobile, or vehicle of choice, I guess. Go ahead and pow GLaDOS right in her bananka Hey, that's not fair. I was distracted. I was sitting in the basement and think about what you've done. The foundation element must be close. Another test is being triggered. Careful! I don't believe it! You're okay! Apart from being in an oven, 
Anyway, prepare your impressed faces, strangers, because I, Wheatley, am here to hero the situation. Okay, hang on. Gonna start heroing any second now. Got some heroing coming up. Stay tuned. Okay, first issue. More than one button. Um, <laughs> so, while Wheatley's busy heroing it up, you might want to get into the middle of the area and kind of stand on this white circle. Basically, he pushes the wrong button, all the fiery stuff moves in closer, but then eventually he presses the second button and it drops a keystone terminal, as we're about to see. Any seconds here, any second here, seconds here. Uh, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, here it comes. All right. Booyaka Shout. Go ahead and activate that and choose whichever character you want and move them to the water side and then put the fire out because you know we didn't stop that fire i don't know if there's an optimal spot to stand i stood in the back and did kind of all the right stuff and then did all the left stuff that i could reach then i moved forward and stood right in the middle again and eventually once you put all these fires out those final two will open up and give you access to the cake and then hey we'll eat cake right all right last but not least here we go we'll see you in a second in the finals Surprise. What else have you got? If you are not going to play by the rules, then there is no point in continuing the tests. That giant oven was a test? Yes, you failed. But there is one more thing I would like to conduct. Oh yeah? What's that? Electricity through you. <laughs> Why do they always leave me? Glad to be out of there. Trophy achievement is now ours. We've completed the level, which means we now can return back to it and kind of, and they don't call it free play, but that's what it is to us, right? So we can access the level and replay it again with other characters. Not that you couldn't play them with other characters this time, but anyways, you know what I'm saying. We didn't quite even get to the quarter mark of the rule breaker stud requirement, but that's all right. We'll get a 2x red brick later and come back and free play and tear it up and really, uh, you know, get all those studs because we really just kind of plowed through this level and uh, just shot for the goal of the story and finishing it. So uh, look for our trophy achievement video for the 25 minutes or less. What is it called? It's a uh, speedy thing goes in, I believe is what it's called. And uh, that'll be coming up real soon if it's not already available. Hey, we really appreciate your guys' support. Thanks for watching these videos. We, we, you know, if you have any questions or comments, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have happythumbsgaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews. Lots of our unboxings and, you know, product stuff is all over there. So check it out if you haven't been there. And, uh, yeah, as for me, that's going to go ahead and do it for now. I got more videos coming soon. So, as always, until next time. Blah, 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 that's all, folks.